Hello, my name is Tim Gerhardt and I'm from Lampstrong and today we're going to learn how to replace a boiler on a Fistream 3 8 liter per hour system. Now we're going to remove the door from the 8 liter per hour Fistream 3 system. The Fistream 3 4 liter per hour system, single distilled, has the same type of door, it's just a little smaller. So you're just basically going to lift up, pull out on the bottom, pull the top down and you remove the door. Set that aside. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the top cover. The top cover for the 8 liter, the 4 liter by distiller, same size. The top cover for the 4 liter by stream 3 is just a little smaller, but it still has the same two blanking plugs that you're going to remove from the top. A Phillips head screwdriver, two Phillips head screws. Just going to go ahead and remove the screws from the front. And once those are loose, pop the front up and then the back are just two bolts that are elongated in elongated holes just slide it ahead until you find the opening and then pop the top cover off and remove it set that aside now that we have the top cover removed the doors removed to replace the boiler we're going to need to remove the elements so to do that we're going to simply take the union apart the plastic union apart Leave the bottom split ring and the bottom ring on the boiler. You're going to detach your heating element at the relay. Then you want to pull the heating element all the way up and out. Careful not to tilt it at all. Move your element, set it aside. Take our second element. Take the split ring apart. Pull the element up. This one's already disconnected from the relay. Pull that out. Now you've got your elements removed. Now that you have the element removed, you're going to need to remove the split ring and the bottom half of the plastic union because your new boiler will not have that with the boiler. So you need to take it off the old boiler. So take your split ring, find where it's, it's split apart, and you need to pull those apart, and then pull the plastic union up and you'll do the same thing for the other side. Now that we have the split rings removed from the boiler section, we need to go to the back of the unit to remove the back panel. Take a Phillips screwdriver, remove all your, off the screws at the back of the unit. Now that we have the back cover removed, we're going to gain access to our temperature protection device moving from the back side of the boiler. So simply slide the copper coil out. Make sure to keep the insulation pieces. Set that aside. Now that we have everything removed from the boiler, we're going to go ahead and take the glass work apart. Now, sometimes the silicone sleeves here that connect the constant level device and the condenser together and also the, constant, or the condenser to the boiler section. Sometimes overheat can actually adhere the sleeve to the glass and you won't be able to slide this, the glass out of the sleeve. In that case, you'll have to actually cut the sleeve and peel it around the glass. We always use the new sleeves on here. But for this point, we're gonna go ahead and replace the boiler. So we're gonna take the condenser, slide it gently out. We can set that aside. And now we've got access to our boiler. The outer sleeve, was, which was connected to the condenser, this is our inner sleeve. Now when we get the new, one, new boiler, you're going to get this inner sleeve and the outer sleeve. Now we're going to remove the tubing from the front of the boiler and from the drain assembly. Now we're ready to take off the clips that hold the boiler in place. Now that we have the tubing removed, we're going to remove the two stainless steel clamps that hold the boiler in place. Just simply lift up on one end, remove the clip, and you want to make sure you keep that because you're going to reinstall it. Now you just take the boiler, slide it out away from the two clips in the back holding it in place, and out comes your boiler. Now that we removed the old boiler, we're going to slide in the new boiler in the same spot. Simply push it down, push the two clamps apart, let it sit down 
on the rubber o-ring at the bottom. Take our two stainless steel clamps. It's got a curve to it. Make the curve go away from the boiler so it's with the same curve of the boiler. Put the two of them over the clamp so to get them started. Then just simply push straight down on both ends. Same with the top. They're in place, they'll hold the boiler in place. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect up our tubing at the very bottom. Connect it up to our drain. Now we've got our condenser console device we can reinstall. Now that you have the new boiler installed, our inner sleeves installed, our tube is installed at the bottom, we're going to install our condenser and our console device. Our new sleeve slides onto the condenser. And then we're going to slide the condenser up over that inner sleeve until it slides all the way to the back and then bring it back just a little bit away from the glass so there's no glass to glass connection. Connect up our tubing from the bottom of the constant level device and our overflow to the drain valve assembly. We feed our inlet tubing through the back and connect it back up to the restrictor. Now that we have the new boiler installed, constant level device, condenser, and the heating elements, and all the tubing, we're going to reinstall the over temperature protection switch into the back of the boiler. Slide the copper coil inside the boiler and then leave the insulation at the end like that. That's going to hold it in place. Slide it all the way in there. Use the insulation to hold it in place. Now that we have everything installed, including the over temperature protection device, we're going to go ahead and install the back panel. Make sure that you've got the J bracket portion, which is where the other J bracket that's mounted to the wall is in the correct position. You don't want it like this. This is your mounting bracket for the top. So you always make sure this is at the top. Place it into one of the screw holes openings and you go ahead and install the Phelps head screw. Just get that started. Now the back panel is secured in place. Now that you completed the component replacement on the 5-Stream 3 system, we're going to put the top cover back on. Again, it has the two screws in the front, and then we've got our two bolts in the back that slide into the elongated holes in the back. So first you want to locate those. Once you've located those, you just slide it back until the front matches. Taking your Phillips head screwdriver, you're going to tighten one side down. Once they're tight, put your blanking plugs back in. Grab your door cover. You always want to operate the system with the door in place. Simply locate the slots in the front, then slide it down into the slots in the bottom. Your door's in place. You've completed your installation. Thanks for watching. At LabStrong, we are committed to making your lab life easier. For additional assistance, please contact the experts at LabStrong.